Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. We're coming at you a little bit extra early today because we're getting ready for what we think is going to be a big day here. Uh, the question on everyone's mind is Euro going to break 113 today? Uh, we think the answer to that question is yes. Uh, we're looking for bonds to collaborate. Obviously, we want the, uh, the 10 year price is lower, yield higher. The key point for us is going to be 117.17 for those who are watching the 10s. And now that we're through 50, we're trading at 42 currently, we just have to see what's down here. We all remember on the 31st of October when China was on the bid um, for 500 at a clip at 40, 30, 20, 10 and the figure. Uh, we printed a low at o of 02 that day. It's unclear um, whether they're going to be around again today. If they are, uh, that's going to be problematic. If they are not, then I think we're going to trade this thing. One of the big differences between today and the 31st is that price of uh, dollar CNH. We're trading 694.50 now. Um, although we are still close to the sort of magic line 700, uh, we are much further away from that today. And perhaps this, perhaps because China may not be protecting um, the yuan so aggressively. Uh, they may not be here selling dollars in the euro dollar market as well. All of this is just conjecture. Actually, you know, obviously, I don't speak to anyone uh, at CIDIC or anyone who does anything for China, but you know, this is just sort of best guess after 25 years in the business of what's going on. Um, watching this very closely. I don't have to tell you guys if we break 113, it's massively important. Really, 11290 is my number, but uh, we're targeting 109. If we get down there, the 200 week is also 113.07. Uh, it's just a confluence of support down here if this gets broken. We, we see this opening up to a 400 point down move, which obviously has huge uh, consequences. This puts dollar Swiss back up at uh, 104. Um, cable, we have no idea because of Brexit, so fuck cable. But it's also going to put downward pressure on Aussie and Kiwi. So the squeeze on Aussie and Kiwi uh, looks to be over. Uh, if this comes to fruition, which again, we we think this is happening today. Um, what else? Oh yeah, dollar CAD. Some funny headlines. Uh, last evening about NAFTA and the U.S. and barking and squabbling and... and Our cat also it looks like to have broken higher. The point, the big, big point is 132.25, but we think you can buy through the highs here um, going into Europe. So, I mean, pick your poison. You can buy dollar cat through the highs. You can buy dollar czar, our favorite long in the EM space, through the highs. 1420, you need to be core short euro going into what is going to be uh, choppy. If this goes in Europe, it'll be choppy. If this goes before Europe gets in, Europe doesn't get in um, for another two hours, it might be cleaner uh, just because the Asian dealers don't have the weight behind their books or the balls to um, handle this kind of flow. Uh, the inevitable stops through 113. 
So that's about it. Uh, helmets on, goggles on, tin hats on, whatever you want to call it. Put your big boy pants on today. Uh, looks like this is a day to get paid. Let's see how it goes. Um, and I wish everybody luck. Talk to you guys on Monday, and I'll see you on Twitter. Ciao.